Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we're looking at um, technical drawing. And the aspect of technical drawing we're treating now will be bisection of angles. Now, before you can bisect an angle, you must know that we have some special angles. Angles like angle 30 degree, right? Angle 60 degree, angle 45 degree, and what? Angle 90 degree. All these angles are special angles, and these are the angles at which all our, all, our, all other angles are built upon, right? Now we have what is called the set square. That again. Now, if I have my set square placed on my t square, if I have my set square placed on my t square, this edge here, when it's straight forward here, it is what 90 degree. Now you need to watch very well and see what I'm actually talking about the t square must be what must be tangential to the edge of what my drawing set that makes it move tangentially on the edge how good it must move tangentially here like this now what I will do as far as it is placed like this on my there's no space here as you can see as long as it is placed that way then can you see that? As long as it's placed like this, then um, I will ensure that my T square. I will ensure that my T square is also placed at that junction. That the key. So my T square must be placed at the horizontal part of the T, the T square, so I can move my set square like this when this condition is fulfilled now when my set square is like this if i use my set square my t square is meant for drawing horizontal line if i place it this way i draw my horizontal line it's my horizontal line here right let me call the line a and let me call this point b is that the key now if i take my set square when it is standing, when I mean standing, when it is standing, when it is standing, like this. Can you see? When it is standing like this, it means that what? I want to draw my 90 degree. Now if I place it at this end here, this end point, which is my A point here. Can you see that? I place at that end point here. If I draw a perpendicular line from this point upward, I will say this angle is at what? 90 degree. So this is my 90 degree. How good? Similarly, if I draw a similar line that way too, I come to this point and I draw a similar line this way. Right? So if I do that, and I take my, I mark my points, point A and point B, and I want to draw my 45 degree, I'm going to place the same T square, the same set square on my T square, and I'll move it until it gets to the end of my A. Now since I'm looking for 45 degree, I will use my faint line, I will draw this just with faint line. Can you see that? I'm drawing with faint line. Then I'm going to use my pencil, my my compass. Then I'm going to use my compass at any reasonable radius. And I'll place at this edge A here, right? With any convenient radius. And I'll draw my arc like this. To cut through, can you see that? Now, when it cut through with the same radius, if I like, I extend it. If I extend it, I use the same radius. Let me see. I'm extending it. I place it at this point that cut the horizontal line. I'll strike an arc with the same radius. I place it here also. Can you see? I'm placing it, and I'll strike the other arc. Are we good? So where it cuts through at this point. I'll take my meter rule 
and I am going to draw it past it so with my trick line so this is angle what? angle 45 degree right? angle what? angle 45 degree this is 90 degree is that okay? that is one now also I can also use my my set square to draw 45 degree let's let me show you that now if i draw my line this way let's say we are having point a b and i don't want to bisect i said something earlier that when this guy is standing like this so when this guy is standing this way like this this is 90 right so this is your 90 this is your 90 but if I use the other guy here, which is this, I believe everybody could have seen this before. This is your 45 degrees square. You can see it. So if I place it at this direction here, at this direction, facing the right, the left. So see that I'm moving it on my T square. If I move it to this point here, to that point A, can you see that? Then I'm going to draw my line. Let me let's take let me zoom it so you see. I'll move it to my point A here. Ensure that it is cadential to the point, and I'm going to draw my line. So from this point straight ahead, this is still my 45 degree. How oh, good. So using this guy, using any of the edge of this guy, either here or here, I'll be able to do that. How oh, good? Either here or here, I'll be able to do that. 45 degree. This is our 45 degree what? C square. That is our 45 degree C square. To the angle in between here is it to be what? My 45 degree. So the difference between these two is that I am bisecting 90 to get 45, or I am using my C square. To get 45 here, we are still on the same track. Oh, good. So, the next thing we're looking about is if I bisect my 45 further, what will I have? Now, let's see. I need if you divide 45, if you divide 90 by 2, you're having 45. If you divide 45 by 2, you're having what? 22.5, which is 22 and a half. So, let's see that. So, if I place my compass this way. Place my compass this way. I just draw a line like this, right? So this is my point A and point B, right? I don't need 90. Let me zoom now. I'm placing my C square like this, 45 degrees C square. I'm standing it this way. Watch and see. Hmm? I move it to my point A. This point A here, the edge of point A. You can see and i draw this upward that is 90 but i don't want 90 i need 22 and a half then i bend it the other way around too facing the left depend on where direction you are going to let's take it to the same end i have my what 45 right this is 90 this is 45 but if i bisect 45 and this horizontal line here I'm going to have 22 and a half, right? So I will take my compass, I'll place it at this end point here. So I will draw my arc at any given radius. I'll draw an arc like this, sorry. Place it here. I'll draw an arc like this. How good? After doing that, with any radius or the same radius, or I extend it a little bit, I'll place it at this edge where it meets the horizontal line. Yeah. I'll strike an arc. I'll come to this other point here also. I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll pass my line through that point from point A here. So I'll go through that point. So watch very well. I'll go through that point. To this point here. To my point A. And I'll draw a thick line. So that's what I need. So the angle between here and here 
is what 22.5 thank you very much in our next video we'll see how we bisect angle 30 60 and so on and so forth thank you